Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rakuen. It's your boy Kadagoy Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. Let's take a quick peek at what's in the cafeteria. Maybe we'll find a marble. Or another 5Gs. I can't interact with you? Yes. Rusted shut? Hmm. The new patient lounge is still being built. Please come back later. Wow, look at all this. Magazines, notebooks, and other paper materials can be found here. Yes, you are correct. Various drinks, yogurt, and fruit cups line the shelves. I'm assuming it's the same here. Rice bowls and snacks. On the top shelf, you see an assortment of onigiri. This bin is filled with ice cream and other frozen snacks. Cold drinks are kept here. This bin is... F yeah. Same. And yeah. Gotta, gotta be sure, man. Gotta be thorough, you know? A pile of freshly made plushy toys. It looks like there is something underneath one of the toys. Yes. You found a snowy marble. Done. Hey, kitty. Hey, I told you, you're not supposed to have cats in the hospital. It's fine. She's a seeing eye cat. My vision is really bad. Get it out of here, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Panky is the worst! Hashtag not my chef. Hey kiddo, you need something? What's up? I'm just finishing up a batch of plushies. My goal is to make one for all the patients on the floor. Even old cranky men like Tony and Pink. Hey! I heard that! Good. Hey kiddo, you need something? Yeah. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but... You know how some of the doors around here have those electronic lockbox things on them? I heard that they keep the password somewhere behind the reception desk that's across from Kisabura's room. What do you think is beyond those doors? You mean you haven't been there? What? No, of course not. I'm just a volunteer, baby. Hey, kiddo. Tell me about the folks here. I know all about the people here. Tell me about Winston then. Have you noticed? Winston's wife doesn't have her wedding band on. Don't you think that's a little strange? I mean, Winston is still wearing his. Oh, I know all... Yeah. Tony. Tell me about Tony. I know Tony seems like the biggest grump on the planet, but I can tell he's just a bit lonely. I bet if you brought him some coffee, he would open up to you a bit. Tell me about Sue. Sue didn't used to be so poor, you know? But I heard that her father drank a bit too much and gambled away all of their savings. Huh. I think I'm done. Thank you. Sorry, hon. But you know you're not supposed to leave this wing. Fresh Orden. Can I buy a cup of coffee? Hey man! Long time no see, buddy. You hungry? You need something? So I can't do that voice the entire time. This here! They finally stopped the vending machines out in the hospital hall with the peanut churches! The shift leader was in here the other day begging us to do it. Guess it's not just the kids that like him, eh? <laughs> You need something? Yeah. Oh yeah, someone came in here and took a bunch of food and drinks. Ain't no way they got in here through the cafeteria. See that metal door up there? It comes down after hours and no one gets through that. So I bet they somehow got into the backspace. The backspace? Yeah, the backspace. It's a network of closed off passageways, half built rooms, storage closets, you know. I don't know. The aftermath of, well, yeah, it's it's crazy back there, trust me. You need something? Yeah. Who you wanna know about? 
Tell me about Daniel and keep it short. Don't tell her I said this, but Danielle's gonna hurt a goat. She spends her free time coming up in here and sewing toys for all the patients. And really don't tell her I said this, but she's a bit of a crazy cat lady. Hey, I heard that. Ah, shit. What can I say? It's true. Yeah, it is. Tell me about Kisaburo, man. If that Kisaburo comes in here one more time, borrowing my stuff, I swear to God. Borrowing? Oh, yeah. He took all my soap ladles, the motherfucker, and for what? To go digging in the mud outside to look for buried treasure? I feel bad for the guy, though. It's never easy when someone starts losing their mind like that. Must be even tougher for his family. Now I'm losing my mind. I got all this soup and all these forks. Tell me about Jackie. Jack is a smart guy. Sometimes I think he's on another planet. But if there's one thing we can talk about, it's food. Of course, we have different methods. He is all science. He cooks with his brain. I cook with my hat. No one. I'm good. Take care, Chief Panky. I'm going. Let me get ghost for a minute. That voice kills your throat for sure. Okay, so we have the marble, so we could go to the bathroom. Let's do it. Any luck? Hell yeah, we are. Oh, you find my snow world. Snow world? Shh. Can you keep a secret? Hell yeah, I can. These aren't just marbles, you know. They're little dragon balls. All of these are tiny planets with tiny people living inside. That's why it's so important for me to find them all. This swirly white marble is a snow world. It's snowing all the time in here. I know that might sound boring, but it's not. Real snowmen live here, and they're always having parties. What kinds of parties? Barbecue parties? Snowmen dance parties? I love dancing! Me too! Oh! They have pretty landers everywhere too, and, and a blue campfire that feels cold. But if we went there, we wouldn't freeze. The snowmen make a magical drink that keeps the person warm. So we could dance with them and never get too cold. That sounds great. Thanks for helping me. I feel better now that they're back with me. My name is Sue. It's nice to meet another kid around here. Oh yeah. Feel free to use our bathroom anytime you want. You say that now, but once once I drop these bombs, you're gonna hate me forever. If you find any more of my marbles, do you think you can bring them to me? For sure. Thanks so much. Yes. Flush. Something is shining. It looks like there's something shiny floating inside. Take it? Yeah! A key to Tony's bathroom? Neat. Yes. Perhaps I could. And Tony was... Definitely on the left wing. A box labeled 5C power supply. A paper notice is attached to the box, and there is a lever in front. Let's read the notice first. 5C power supply. Do not tamper with this device. Who wouldn't? Am I right, Pokemon? Sweet. 
Dude, everything is coming up Millhouse. I don't know how this works now. Um, This is still locked. Yes. 5B. I was like, 5C, 5C, 5C. No. Okay. The only thing remaining for us is this part. Okay. 17, 21. Hey! Please begin transfer medical supplies to the second floor storage wing immediately. Someone has etched something into the edge of the bulletin board. Yes. Or seer. What? I'm gonna save my shit. That wasn't the save button, was it? Oh no. Okay, hold on. Save your game. There you go. Very good. Uh, let's turn on the lights. Someone's weathered journal. Look inside here. We weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Oh. Yes. Oh. Fourteenth March, JNR. The NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Hell yes. Small cabinet key? Yes. Exit 5C passcode 2954. Hmm. Shit! I forgot. What was it? <laughs> Wait, I forgot. <laughs> okay. glass beakers a jar with an unknown specimen floating inside a representative from Koide construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage please make sure all personal materials are removed before then hmm what do we have y'all can't read that medical books who the hell um okay so how do i uh how do i do this do that where do i want to go that should work and then did i fuck myself i think i might have fucked myself Oh. Really? What does this say, though? Construction zone. It won't budge. Okay. Yes. A lab coat and a pair of scrubs are hanging inside. Take it. Metal door. Hmm. Interesting. Stack of folders, you say? A construction contract for the rebuilding of the third floor wing 2B. A car key. Yes. 
Georgie, remember to remove the card key when you're done this time, alright? We can't just go leaving doors open. I don't want to get in trouble again. But I found- oh. I found 5G. Uh, yeah. So... Cool. Ah, that's how it works. That sucks. I was about to say, whoa. Yes. For security purposes, all three supervisor card keys must be inserted in order to open the store. How did he get past it then? Is he a ghost? Is there something here? Gotta make sure. Let me guess. Another card. Hell yeah. Very good. So then we take our previous card. Yep. Okay. Insert that here. Insert that here. Get the third card. Yep. Put that there. Good. Perfection. I should bring that with me. Is that my book? My book! It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. But if you wanna call me Sutton, you can call me Uma. Are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? Hey. I guess you kinda caught me red-handed. <laughs> Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry, dude. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry you don't have a real home. Eh, you get used to it after a while. So kid, are you hungry? I got a bit of fish head left from last week if you would like. I'll pass. That's okay. But thank you. Look kid, I'm really sorry I took your book. Please, take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry too. And I promise that as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. That's a goddamn lie and you know it. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh! One more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, will you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Okay, I promise. Break me and I'll multiply. Becoming sharp as a tech. But if all you do is smile at me, I will always smile back. Are you talking about a mirror? What in the world are you doing in here? I... Um... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways... Come with me. Your mom is here. Mom! Oh. After you 
worked so hard to get our book back. I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Rockwind to me, Mom? Of course I will. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakwa. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rockwen. Good night. Mom? Is that you? Hey. Yummy! You came back. I told you I would. So, the doctor told me you were wandering around the backspace. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been in our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your ma. Yeah, and me too, of course. It's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time, but you. You might never get to leave. Oh hey man, I'm sorry for saying that. It's okay. It's true. If it makes you feel any better, I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift, nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Yami. Yeah. I hope you get better. Somebody left me a note. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? What's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but... I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older, but... But I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there is silver on it, and people can sell silver for a lot of money. No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. 
a blueprint for what we need to do to meet Morizora himself. But when the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you need something else in order to get there. This is the Raquin key. You need it to open the book as well as the doors. The doors? My grandma my grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. And if we and we may never know unless we look for ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special. And now it belongs to you. You received Silver Raquin Keybook. Book key. Thank you, Mom. But you must promise me that you will take good care of it. Oh, I promise. I will take such good care of it. Okay, then. There is only one thing left to do. Let's go and find a door to Morizora's forest. One moment. Oh, here we go. Uh, if you want to talk to mom at any time, press Q. Oh. Hello, dear. How are you, ma? When I was a little girl, I used to always dream about finding a special door to Morizora's forest. I need a hint. Hmm. Did you notice that envelope on the floor of your room? Maybe someone left you a letter. Mom, did you leave me a letter? It looks like someone left you a note. Read it? Yeah. Break me and I will multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I will always smile back. Figured you might need this in writing. There is something crazy where I live. I hid something to help you get there. Reflect on it for a while and maybe you can find it. Uma. Reflect. Alright dudes, I think I'm gonna call an episode right here. Next episode, we'll pick up from here and continue our journey in Iraq. Maybe we'll find the forest, who knows? Until next time, this has been your boy Calico Gaming Man. I'm out of here, love y'all and do see